going to install a flanged window in a wall with a weather barrier applied over the exterior foam insulation. As we roll the home wrap out, we want to secure it with cap nails. Make sure that they penetrate well into the studs. Now place just enough cap nails to hold the home wrap in place and then go back and fill in the nailing schedule later. Horizontal seam should be overlapped a minimum of six inches and taped. Fastener should be held at least nine inches away from the top of the window head. Now that I've got the wall wrapped, I'm going to cut out the window opening and I'll make an eye cut. I start at the top with a level head cut. And I'm also going to make a cut where I can fold head flap back up. Now I'll take this head flap and fold it out of the way and tape it temporarily. And I'll finish the eye cut with a vertical cut down the middle of the window opening. and then a level cut at the sill. I'll tack the flaps to the back of the trimmer stud. After I've cut the opening, the next step is to put flex wrap sill in. I've cut this piece a foot longer than the rough opening. I'll eyeball it left and right for level so I get equal exposure. I'm going to lay this down so that the back edge is flush with the interior rough sill. I want to make sure I get all the way up to the corner. I don't want to stretch it into the corner. It wants to extend a minimum of six inches up the jam. Work the other corner in place. And before I flex it, I'll use a J-roller to make sure it's got good bonding. And then I'm going to flex the outside corner. Seamless corner in this spot. I'll start to fold the vertical leg over the sill. Then I'll fold out the other corner. Hold that vertical leg over the sill and take the J-roller. Apply good solid pressure to get the adhesive for full contact over the home wrap. After the sill's in place, we're going to install the window. First, I'm going to apply a good heavy bead DuPont residential sealant on the back of the window. I'm going to caulk the jams and the head and leave the sill flange uncocked. With the window cocked, the flange is cocked, we're going to set the window in place, plumb and level it, and fasten it. After the window is in place, I'm going to apply the straight flash jam flashing. Now I'm apply the second piece of jam flashing, straight flash, four inch wide straight flash. Just pull off enough release paper to spot the jam flashing, and I want to position it one inch above the head flange of the window unit. And once I've spotted it in place, I'll work my way down and just get it positioned, gradually pulling the release paper as I work my way down. I just want to get it positioned. I'm not to worry about full contact yet. And once I've got the jam flashing in place, I'll take my J-roller and roll, apply even pressure and get good contact all along the jam flashing piece. After the two jam pieces are installed, I'm going to put the last piece of head flashing in, straight flash 4-inch. 
you want the head flashing to extend at least an inch beyond the jam flashing. And I'll use the J roller to apply good pressure and get full contact to the foam and the head flange. I'll take that temporary tape off the head flap, fold this down over the head flashing, and I'll take the seams. After the windows installed and flashed, I'm going to tape the horizontal seams. And after the windows completely installed and flash, we'll come back and apply some DuPont window and door foam. It's low expanding foam, and we'll apply it just in the cavity to seal the head and the jam. This is how a flanged window unit is installed in a wall with a weather barrier placed over the exterior foam installation.